Hi, this is Josh. And Michael. We're with the Stern team at Keller Williams. And our goal, by the way, is to keep you educated about all things real estate so you have the ability to make great decisions when it comes to your own home selling, buying, or investing goals. Today's topic is on real estate scams. Friends, friends and clients, it can be a scary world out there. While the majority of people are good and honest, a few bad apples always try to take advantage of others. Unfortunately, the real estate market is no different. So today I wanted to let you know about some real estate scams I've become aware of recently. All right, so one is the mortgage closing scam. This particular scam is spreading across the country. It's become so prevalent that the FBI estimates it has led to over one billion in stolen or diverted funds in 2017 alone. It starts when hackers gain access to a real estate agent's email account. Then when it's time to close a particular deal, the hackers posing as the real estate agent send wiring instructions to the home by, uh, home buyer on where to wire the money. Of course, it's only after the buyer has sent thousands or tens of thousands of dollars to an unknown bank account that the truth comes out. The real estate agent wasn't actually the one reaching out and the buyer has been scammed. Never send a wire without confirming the account with your title company and or your real estate agent. Number two, uh, fake real estate agents. This scam, or fake it real estate lawyers rather, yeah. this scam is similar to the first one in that the scammers will uh, impersonate somebody legitimately involved with the deal. In this case, the hackers will uh, impersonate a real estate lawyer who is associated with the particular home sale. Then at the time of closing, they will contact the buyer either by email or over the phone and tell them the wire, uh, the wire destination has been changed. If this scam works, the home buyers could again be out of thousands of dollars. Yeah, tens of thousands or, or even more. And this has happened, you guys. In fact, in the state of Utah right now, wire fraud is happening on housing every other day. So let's talk about the third scam that we we know about, and that is the bait and switch. Unlike the first two scams, this scam actually targets sellers. It also doesn't require any hijacking or impersonation, just a dishonest buyer. And here's how it works. A buyer makes an offer that's well above the listed price. Price. The seller happily agrees and the contract is signed, but then the buyer starts procrastinating, making excuses and dragging out the process for weeks and months. And in the meantime, the seller continues to pay costs for the home and is getting more and more emotionally worn out. In the end, the unscrupulous buyer flatly says that they can only buy the home at a lower price, usually under the listed price, and the seller, desperate by now, frequently agrees. So how can you protect yourself against these and other scams? For one thing, don't send account information over email. Confirm everything over a phone call to a number that you already know to be valid or even better in person and ultimately find a real estate agent you trust to represent your best interests. If you're ever in need of a trustworthy real estate agent, our doors are always open. You can also give us a call at 801 859-7509. I've worked the Wasatch Front real estate market for a long time, and I can give you the contact details for my previous clients so you can check what their experiences have been. And if you're only just considering selling your home, you might be interested in finding out what your home is worth along the Wasatch Front. Enter your street address here to find out what that home's value is. And then on the other hand, if you're looking to actually buy a home, take a look at all the great homes that have recently come on the market in the Wasatch Front area. You can click on that link there. Again, have a great day.